every day we face life and death decisions. Choose smart and you'll live long and prosper. Choose badly and you're toast. <laughs> Meet Alex. He looks innocent, but in a moment he's going to shoot you. Would you rather protect yourself with a vest made of one kilogram of silk or steel? While Alex gets his gun ready, our scientists have some crucial clues for you. The reason bullets damage things is because they travel at high speeds, which gives them huge amounts of kinetic energy. And kinetic energy kills. A good bulletproof vest needs to be able to absorb the impact energy of a high-speed object and dissipate it without fracturing. This is usually achieved by complex plastics, but neither silk nor steel fall into this category. Steel is a man-made iron alloy known for its high strength to weight ratio. By contrast, silk is a natural protein fiber made by certain insect larvae. On the face of it, you'd think no contest, but our experiment may prove otherwise. Welcome to Cranfield University's Impact and Armor Lab. This is where Alex works, and he's going to shoot you. So hurry up, decision time. Do you protect yourself with silk or steel? Before the trigger's pulled, here's Alex's boss, Professor Ian Horsfall. So we'll start by shooting at this uh, half millimetre thick sheet of mild steel. Uh, this is the sort of material and thickness that would be in your car door. We'd expect this to have some reasonable uh, ballistic resistance. Um, so we'll shoot at this one and see whether we can put a hole in it. OK, Alex, better get your gun. This remote firing device is incredibly accurate. Complete with a laser means that we can pinpoint exactly where the ammunition is going to strike on the target. Ready for impact. Stand by. So, will the bullet kill you or will steel save your life? Let's look in slow motion. The bullet's gone straight through the sheet. Bad news if you chose steel. This piece of steel really did not perform very well. In fact, it deformed, but then also fractured. And so in the lab, we call that materials failure. What we really want to see now is how the same weight of silk will perform. To get the same weight of silk, we're layering it up. Will the silk save your life? We've not shot this sort of material before, so I'm not quite sure whether this will work or not until we actually do the test. OK, Alex, ready your gun. Stand by. Silk stops the bullet. Amazing. And not only that, astonishingly, it sends it back in the direction it came from. One hole where it went in, another where it was thrown back out. Amazingly, silk is stronger than steel. Weight for weight, it's an incredible five times stronger. But it's not just its strength which stopped the bullet here. Silk also has the incredible quality of being very flexible. And that's because on a nanoscale, the protein layers created by the insect are held together by hydrogen bonds. What's amazing is these bonds, although weak, hold the structure together and provide flexibility by breaking and then reforming quickly during impact. As the bullet hits the layered sheets of silk, these tiny bonds are providing the flexibility and strength that absorbs the kinetic energy of the bullet. Which means that it effectively catches the bullet, slows it down and then spits it back out. Without the same flexibility, the steel fractures and the bullet rips right through it. So if you were wearing that steel vest, you'd be dead. So if you chose silk, then you're bulletproof. If you chose steel, then you've shot through on this one. All of which makes Alex very happy indeed. <laughs>